Easter has now come and gone. And I hope that you use this time to remember and reflect upon what Jesus Christ means, what He did, His life, His death, and His resurrection, and what that means to those who put their faith and trust in Him, and how important that faith in Him is, and how it shows us His love for us that while we were still sinners, He died for us, and what hope that brings. Thinking of such things made me think of 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13, which says, So now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, but the greatest of these, is love. Have you ever wondered why the greatest of those is love? Many times we think faith is the most important thing because how can we have His love without faith? Well, my dear friends, faith is so important. But the context here in verse 13 is talking about something else. It's talking about the end, what happens when we are fully known. In other words, when we get to heaven. And it says, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest is love. Well, when we get to heaven, you'll no longer need faith because your faith will have become sight. The things that you're believing in and having faith in now, you'll actually see, touch, and feel So you will no longer need faith. Your faith will be realized. And the hope, the hope that we put in the Word of God, the hope that we put in Christ and God's faithfulness will be fulfilled. All of His Word will be fulfilled when we're in heaven. All of His Word, all of His promises, the hope that we lean on will be fulfilled. So we will no longer need to hope. Ah, but love. We need God's love now. And we will need and enjoy God's love in heaven forever and ever. This is why it is the greatest of those three mentioned in the context of that verse. Because faith will be fulfilled and it will be sight. Hope will be fulfilled and promises all delivered upon by God. And love, love we have from Him now and love we will experience with Him forever in heaven. What a wonderful thought and promise. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, by your power, by your faithfulness, by your sacrifice and your works, are we saved. Thank you for your amazing grace. Help us to remember you and to seek you and your will first and foremost, looking forward to the fulfillment of faith, hope, and love with you forever in heaven. Amen. We love to edify and encourage believers through short messages like this, through our YouTube channel and our free phone call messages. If you enjoy what you hear on this channel, we encourage you to like, comment, and of course subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button and you'll be alerted every time we post a new video here on our YouTube channel. You can find out more, ask questions, or contact us through our website, Reformed Fellowship Church. God's grace and peace be with you.